Hello, I welcome you all to this wonderful lesson. So this is what I want to discuss with you. I pray that you are going to understand what I'm going to share with you. So this is statistics. Specifically, I want to teach you how you can find the standard deviation. In Zambia, this question gets to carry six marks. I've even indicated here. This question carries six marks. And it comes in paper two. So I want to teach you how you get to calculate the standard deviation. And this data is a grouped data. Why is it a grouped data? Or why or how have I known that this is a grouped data? Because the data is grouped. Here they are telling you that the, this is age. So age between 0 and 10, that is X. So it is grouped. There is a range between 0 to 20 they have put it there x between 20 to 30 have you seen this is grouped so any question that will come like this whenever you just notice that a question has come in this manner where the number there the number this row on top is grouped have you seen it is grouped so just know that you are talking about grouped data as long as the data exactly like this have you seen from 0 to 10 that is x from 10 to 20 that is x from this to that that is x meaning that this data is grouped so once you notice that the data is grouped what you need to do is this you need to say you need to be adding you need to find the average this is the first thing you need to do so i want to show you the easiest formula <coughs> you are going to use for you to calculate this particular question so if you want tuitions in mathematics i do offer tuitions in mathematics you can call me on this number i'm your online tutor for mathematics and science so this is my number this is my number this is the number that i get to use which is plus two six zero nine seven one zero six six seven seven that is my number you can call me on that number whatsapp me on whatsapp if you want to be helped i do offer mathematics and science science i mean chemistry and physics so this is a wonderful question that i want to answer here so first thing find the average so you say zero plus ten what answer are you having zero plus ten that is ten ten divided by two you get a five we are finding average so here there is what? There is 5. I move here. I add 10 plus 20. That is 30. 30 divided by 2. That is 15. You are finding average. Where is the 2 coming from? You've got these two numbers. If I give you 5 uh, people, then I tell you find the average. So discover that I, I give you uh, numbers like 1, 2, 10, like this. Then I tell you find the average. You are going to divide by 4. So this is what is happening here. Here like this. This plus this. 20 plus 30. That is 50. 50 divided by 2. You get 25. This is what you are going to do. You move here. This plus that. That is 70. 70 divided by 2. You get 35. So this is what you need to do. This is the first thing that you need to do. You need to find the average. So after you find the average, things become simple now. So the moment you just find the average, things become simple. You need to find the mean. So the first thing is finding the what? The mean. I know you have other formulas that you get to use on this, but this is the simplest of all. This method that I'm using, this is the simplest method that you can ever use in an exam. So you're going to say that... Summation of frequency times x over summation of total frequency. So this is a wonderful formula that we'll be using for us to calculate this question. So this is mean. So you are multiplying frequency times x. The x is this number that is on top there. So we are going to say mean is now equal to, this is equal to what? You say frequency 2 times 5, so you are going to put this in brackets. 2 times 5, you say plus. Summation meaning you are adding. 
You say 6 times 15. 6 times 15 plus 9 times 25. 9 times 25. This is what you'll be doing. Plus 3 times 35. 3 times 35. This is what you're going to do. Everything you divide by what? You're going to divide by, you add here. What is 6? 2 plus 6, 8. 8 plus 9, 17. 17 plus 3, 20. So it is what? 20. You discover that the 20 is even given in the question. But if it is not given, you just add the frequencies. This, 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 this. You find the total frequency. But here is given. The following table shows the age distribution of 20 people in a village. This is what we are given. So you say mean is equal to mean is equal to what you start calculating here so we are going to calculate this let us calculate this together i want you to follow what i'm doing forget about the brackets forget about the brackets so let us calculate this two times five so two times five plus six times fifteen plus nine times 25 plus 3 times 35. Confirm with me. According to me, this is the answer that I've calculated. It is what? 430. 430, I divide by what? 20. So what is my mean? Mean is now equal to. So this 430, I divide by what? 20. What answer am I getting? I'm getting 21.5. Confirm with me. I may make a mistake even in my calculation. So this is the mean that I've calculated. Have you seen this mean? This is how we get to calculate. So the first thing is calculate the mean. The same method that I've used. This is the same method that you are supposed to use even yourself. We move now. After calculating the mean, we now need to go and calculate the what? the variance so you now calculate the variance so the formulas that we get to use here they are just the same according to this formula so i'm going to put my mean here what is my mean 21.5 so you confirm with me if you are getting this same one so after calculating the mean you now calculate the what the variance what is the formula for variance variance is equal to summation of frequency open bracket x minus mean cross then squared you divide everything by what summation of total frequency this is the formula that you are going to use so we are going to use this particular formula to find the variance after we find the variance we need to find the square root of the variance then that is the standard deviation that we are looking for so we start variance is equal to Frequency 2, frequency is 2, open bracket. What is the value of x5? What is the mean? Mean is 21.5 cross, then I put a square there. This is what we are doing. We say plus, I move here. Frequency 6, open bracket. x, that is the value on top there, 15. So 15 like that, minus 21.5 cross then squared i continue plus plus what plus nine so nine open bracket that is 25 minus what minus the mean the mean we are using this same one so it is 21.5 cross then squared plus i move now to the last one the last one is what three open bracket that is 35, so 35 minus 21.5 cross, then a square like that. Everything you divide, you divide by what? 20. So when you add here, you are still going to divide by what? By 20. This is what we are doing. Let us now calculate this. What answer are we finding on this part? So let us calculate this. When we calculate, what is our answer? So let us calculate this. And see the answer that we are going to find. Let us calculate this one. 
Let us see how we are going to calculate this. So I think you are able to follow, you are able to understand this part. So you get your calculator. I want you to follow me very well. I may make a mistake even as I'm calculating. That's the reason why I want you people to follow. So I say, so if you can finish this, I've already told you, after you find this value, you find the square root. Then that is the standard deviation that we are looking for. So standard deviation is the square root of the variance. So we say 2 open bracket 5 minus. So 5 minus 21.5 cross. Then I put a square plus 6 open bracket 15 minus. So 15 minus 21.5 so 15 minus 21.5 cross squared plus 9 open bracket 25 minus 21.5 cross squared Plus, I move to the last one. 3, open bracket, 35 minus 21.5 cross squared. What answer are we getting? According to my calculator, I'm getting 1, 4, 5, 5. This is the answer I'm getting. Over 20. So this one, if I divide it by 20... What answer am I going to get? I say divide 20. I divide by 20. The answer that I'm going to get is 72.75. This is the what? This is the variance. So after you find the variance, you can now conclude and say this is what you're going to do. So you confirm with me if we are all getting same answers. We need to make sure that we find same answers. So standard deviation is now equal to square root of what? Square root of variance. So standard deviation is now equal to what is the variance? 72.75. So we find the square root of that number. What is the square root of that? I'm going to get standard deviation to be equal to 8.52. Nine, three, six, one, zero, five, five, like that. So the standard deviation is just a nine. Standard deviation is just a what? A nine. Nearest all number, put a one there. That one becomes a nine. So standard deviation is equal to what? Is equal to nine. These are the procedures that you are supposed to do. These are the steps that you need to know and understand so this is what i add for you this uh afternoon so that we try to devise through some questions under this these are important questions so let's make sure we know how to solve questions this one don't forget this is what this is grouped data this is grouped data so with my methods we get to use same formulas whether it is grouped or ungrouped we just need to use same formulas. This is what grouped data. I'm coming back with another lesson under ungrouped data. But this one, as long as you know this, that one becomes simple. This is what you are supposed to do. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to share. Don't forget to follow me on this page or the channel. Thank you so much. Hoping you to join me. This is my number. Just call me, text me on WhatsApp on that number that is there. Thank you so much.